something absolutely crazy, mental and absolutely bizarre has happened tonight. This is just so unexpected. So lucky. How's it going folks? I'm back. Welcome to Sean Vlog and this is season three. I decided I wanted to start again fresh and this was a great opportunity to do it. You see, the thing is, my vlog has went on a journey of evolution since it began a couple of years ago. There has been two series so far. The first series when I launched, it was really unprofessional. Uh, I don't think there was much storyline involved. It was just me and a camera doing random bits and pieces. So I decided to cut that and start season two last year. And I started that in the middle of last year and that's when I decided I wanted to take the YouTube videos a lot more seriously. And that's what I did. I posted a lot of content over the last year. Good videos, a lot of travel stuff, exciting, cool, awesome bits and pieces. But I don't, still don't think it was a real true reflection of what I am, who I am, or the story I want to tell. So that is why I've decided to start again fresh, season three, vlog episode 001 today. You didn't think I was going anywhere, did you? But here, I want to tell you about the main reason why I am starting again fresh with season three. The first change you will see on this channel is the art, the channel art and my brand spanking new logo, which you'll see up above, which you'll see across all my social media now. It is my new logo. I think it perfectly represents exactly what I, what I wanted from these vlogs. Fun, exciting, adventures, all that kind of good stuff. So there you go. It was designed by a really good friend of Teca and I uh, from Brazil, Enzo and Manuela. I'll put a link to their Facebook page. Go and check them out if you need any design work. But I would also love to know what you guys think of it. Comments down below, please. Now basically, a vlog to me should be a bit of a personal diary. The good, the bad and the ugly. Now of course I want to entertain people. I also want to show people really, really exciting places like the travel videos I do here on this channel about Scotland, about Europe, about South America, Brazil, all that kind of great stuff. But I think over the last year, I haven't been telling a good enough personal story about me and the real things that I go through. For all the comments and stuff that you guys sent, and it really, really helps me, I have discovered the real life daily stuff that we all go through, but that I might have some experience of sharing my thoughts and opinions to possibly help others. I wanna start this series of Sean Vlog, season three, by making this into more of a kind of personal diary. Like, I don't just want to go on frivolous travel adventures with no kind of context, no background to them. Of course, I still want to take you guys to awesome places around Scotland, around the world, as I always do. I want to do it in a more contextual way. So there you go, Sean Vlog. Brand new logo, a new season, starting again fresh as a diary. How do I travel and work, earn money at the same time? Another thing I want to talk about a lot more, but there's also some real life kind of personal things that I have a lot of experience of that I know other people suffer from as well, that I can definitely add value and help. For example, I know a lot of people out there will be suffering anxiety of some sort or another. I am almost an expert on anxiety. I've been through it all, trust me. That is definitely knowledge I will be able to share with you guys. So that is the kind of personal thing that I wanna to add to these videos. If I can show you a lot more of my personal life and what I've been through, what I'm doing in my life, then I think it will add a lot more value and help a lot more people. And you know, that can be all different types of things. Like people might just want to help on travel advice about certain destinations that I've been to. It could be a lot more serious, like stress and anxiety over exams, over relationships, all that kind of stuff. Whatever it happens to be, I have been there and I can help. How to take better photographs, photography, video, vlogs, all that kind of stuff. People want to know about how to do that. So these are all the kinds of things that I can definitely help out with more on my vlog. And that's what I'm gonna do. But it's also about the personal details. I'm gonna let you in on my life, about my family life, about what I'm up to. And I guess one of the big questions people often ask is where I live. Because, like I often seem to be in Scotland, where I'm from, I'm in Brazil a lot of the time, where I also live from part of the year. Well, the thing is, like I didn't tell a lot of people this in the last season of the vlogs, but we were living in Brazil up until last year. And when we came back here, we came as a holiday, but I had a work contract that just kind of appeared from nowhere that meant for six months I had to be permanently based in Edinburgh in one permanent office location. So for the last six months I have been doing that job living in my family home here in Edinburgh. I work freelance, I've always helped a lot of different companies create content, social media stuff, 
text, content, videos, all that kind of stuff. I help companies make that, that's what I do as a job. But for the last six months, I have been doing it for one particular big company here in Edinburgh, and it meant that I could not do anything else. And it also meant that I couldn't travel that much, I had to stay here in Edinburgh, based in one location. But, that is now over. So I'm basically free to go and do anything that I want, once again. So, right now, very exciting stuff. I have a lot of planning to do. I've got a lot of work to do, because, you know, I need to pay the bills, but I've also got a lot of exciting travel stuff planned for the summer. Um, and I'm gonna let you in on the details of that really, really soon, once I get a couple of things confirmed. For the foreseeable future, we're still here in Edinburgh. We will be going back to Brazil at some point, very soon, I just don't know exactly when. But I'll let you know. Um, but yeah, that's it. A new season of Sean Vlog. I hope you're still enjoying these videos and please do keep commenting down below let me know your thoughts on everything that has been going on because I always, always appreciate them and love them and really love the interaction with you guys. And I really love meeting you guys as well. I have met a lot of you guys over the last couple of months. So keep in touch down below on the comments. Um, yeah, anyway, listen, I'm going uptown. It seems like spring has sprung in Edinburgh. The sun is out. It is lovely, beautiful sunny day. Uh, that's what I like to see. Edinburgh at its best is when it's sunny. Uh, so I think Tech and I are going to jump in the car, go for a wee drive. Something interesting. Right now in Edinburgh, they are filming a, a big Hollywood movie. Uh, it's a new Avengers movie and a big, big cast of Hollywood stars. And they're here in Edinburgh. The film crew is right now in the centre of Edinburgh. I don't know if any of the big actors are there at the moment, but might as well go and check it out. I'm gonna go and get tech and then we are going out. I'm just getting my backpack ready. It's got all, all my kind of photography video stuff in it. A couple of spare lenses for my big Canon 80D. Camera obviously as well. Hopefully get a few photos of people around the town. Spring is definitely sprung here in Edinburgh. Look at that, blue skies. It's cold though, it's like four degrees, but nevertheless, the flowers have come out. We are parked here in Blair Street, in the centre, centre, city centre of Edinburgh. The Royal Mall is up there behind me. Uh, I'm going to take a wee walk up and see if we can see anyone. We can see a lot, I can see a lot of vans, that are kind of hire trucks and stuff, probably used to carry equipment and stuff. But uh, it would be cool to see any actors. I'm not sure if we will though. It'd be good to go for a walk anyway, and take some photos. kebab shop behind me does not exist. That is a fake shop. They've taken over a different shop and put a kebab shop in for the film. It's a bit of a failed mission to be honest. You can see the guys setting up with the trucks but I don't think they'll be filming anytime soon, unless they're doing it at night, which I think is more likely. Um, but, nothing to see at the moment. But not a total wasted trip, because like, let's face it, a trip to the Royal Mile in Edinburgh is never totally wasted. Right folks, I have come back home. Very briefly, dropped Tekka off, put a hat on because it's flipping freezing out there, and a jacket, and a thicker hoodie. Uh, and get the drone because uh, the sunset tonight should be pretty special. The sky looks pretty awesome at the moment. Uh, and I'm going to go up Arthur's seat. I'm actually meeting. I'm actually going to meet another guy from Edinburgh who is into YouTube. A guy called Jack Cuthill. Uh, and we're going to mess around with the cameras at sunset. Past the seat, I'm absolutely knackered. Really not used to this. Need to get back to the gym. But uh, the sun's just about to go down, so I need to get up there quickly. This is Jack, by the way. How are you guys doing? Just go and check his channel out. He does uh, quite a lot of stuff here in Scotland. And so, yeah, it's good to know other people who do YouTube in Edinburgh in Scotland. Where can everyone find your channel? Mings, uh, youtube.com slash Sergeant Nessie, S G T N E W S Y. I'll put the link in. But yeah, we're actually going to have a bit of a meet-up this week as well. There's going to be quite a few people from YouTube getting together. But uh, yeah, it's, it's good, like, I met a few people now from Scotland who are getting involved. It's been a long time coming, but 
it's good to see. I think we made it just in time to get the sunset. Probably another half an hour before it goes down, so good time to get the drone out. Jack's flying the drone. Yeah. <laughs> Keeping myself flying. First time, eh? First time ever flying a drone. The thing is, like, the, hand, uh, the controls are pretty. I think they're quite easy to get used to. Just need a couple of shots of flying. I did a big uh, time lapse of the, with the camera set on the castle as the sun was. Low battery. Low battery. <laughs> I'll bring it back in a minute. A big time lapse of the sunset going down over the castle. Brilliant. That is pretty impressive. I feel like quitting well in my head to be honest, like with the, the sun going down and I just used up one battery. Got some nice shots, I think, though. Yeah. yeah. I'll catch you again, eh? Catch you soon. Keep touch. Hold this. And uh, check out Jack's channel. <laughs> <laughs> wow, it's cold. Thankfully, I've got my hat on. Otherwise, I would be struggling a wee bit. It is freezing. Oh, that's better. Back in the car. But uh, I just thought I'd take advantage of what I thought. What? I knew it was going to be a nice sunset tonight, I just knew it. So I wanted to come up and take some photos and video. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go back home now. Get some dinner. I also have a bit of editing to do. Right guys, something absolutely crazy, mental and absolutely bizarre has happened tonight. Uh, the last you saw me was on Arthur's seat with Jack flying the drone. Um, tonight, bit bonkers. Adventure everything, that is my slogan and I'm definitely living that tonight. So, but me and Tekka, who's in the car with me next to me, we were actually going to the cinema tonight. We went to the cinema and just before we bought our tickets, we had a bit of a work emergency. We had to abort our plans to go to the cinema, rush back home and do our work. Uh, and we did that. And I started looking around on Twitter and I started noticing something. A lot of people were posting photos of the Northern Lights. And I thought it was quite unusual. And it's a very, very, very clear night. And I realised there was a bit of a solar storm kicking off and a lot of people were taking photos up in Shetland and also Northumberland in England. So we literally grabbed the cameras, threw it in the car. I didn't film any of it because I was in such a hurry. We drove down here to North Berwick, uh, which is about half an hour from Edinburgh. Uh, and as soon as we got past the town into kind of dark field where we are right now, we saw this amazing, amazing Northern Lights show, like as strong as I've ever seen it anywhere. It was absolutely incredible. We were screaming, we were like crying and stuff. It was just so, such a good show. And I was like shaking so much and I couldn't get the camera to work. Like it was pitch black here. Uh, hopefully I've caught it on time-lapse, but let's see. Anyway, we're here at North Berwick and we're waiting for them to come back. They should come back, but they might, they might not. That might have been it. We might have just had five minutes of a beautiful Northern Light show here in Scotland. One of the clearest I've ever seen. This is just amazing. What a night. This is just so unexpected. I've just rescued my camera from outside. It was doing its time lapse. Uh, a taxi driver just stopped and asked if we were alright because we we're in a place that you shouldn't really be. Uh, and it looks like we've captured it just for a very brief second. I don't know if you'll be able to see this. Alright, okay, we've moved places a couple of miles down the road to a much better location. And it's better because, look, 
we're sitting here in the car, nice and warm, and it's freezing outside, like we're talking one degree right now. Uh, my camera is right there, like I could literally reach and touch it. Uh, and that's great because like where we were before, the camera was quite far away from me and I had to run down and get the settings right. And I missed the best of it, to be honest. But it was still pretty cool to see what we saw. And right now, it's still picking up the northern lights very faintly. Uh, but it's picking them up, so I'm happy. But yeah, wow. The launch day, on the launch day of the new series of the vlog, with my new logo and all that, we come out by random chance and see the northern lights. I feel so lucky. <laughs> Tekka actually... We pulled the car up, and Tekka started crying. Oh, it's because I didn't expect it. It was so cool. Unbelievable. I was screaming like a crazy person. <laughs> like, feel, I feel so lucky and privileged. It was just amazing. Amazing sight to see. To see them in Scotland, in any case, is good. We're going to stay here for another hour or so. It's already midnight right now. So, they could come back at any time. Let's see what happens. But yeah, adventure everything. The reason I'm, I chose Adventure Everything for the motto for my vlog is it really is all about me and my life and my motto, my personal way of living. If you see an opportunity, whether that's business life, personal life, content creation, travel, do it. Just do more. Adventure it. Everything. A night like tonight, we could have really easily missed what we saw if we didn't leave the house. Exactly when I saw the post on Twitter that there was Northern Lights out. If we didn't leave at that exact moment, we would have missed it. Like, they were only out for four or five minutes. That's what it's all about. Getting out there when you have the opportunity. Take every opportunity. Uh, and you never know what might happen. Wow. What a night. Amazing. Hey guys, I think we've had it. The camera is still out there doing its time lapse. Still set up on the wall there on the farmer's field. And actually it's still picking up a very faint aurora. It's like a constant green half past midnight. It's The temperature is now minus one, pretty damn cold. And me and Tekka are both quite tired after a day of working and all that kind of stuff. So we'll probably get going quite soon. I don't think it's gonna come back again as strong as it was. Usually from what I remember from the conversations that I had with people in Iceland, uh, you get one shot when they come out, and that's it. Um, but as I say, they're still rumbling on in the background really, really faintly, and the camera's still picking it up, so there's always a chance, but anyway, wow, how lucky. What a day. One thing that we didn't even realise in the excitement of everything that we were doing is the fact that we are parked about a couple hundred of metres away from Tantalon Castle, which has appeared in the vlogs before. Uh, Lots of people have claimed to see ghosts there. It's thought to be one of the most haunted castles around here. Uh, in Britain, according. In whole Britain. Yeah. There you go. And these fields around about us right now, they have found burial sites of old kind of war graves and stuff. Uh, so yeah, we're quite a spooky, haunted place. Uh, but we were too excited to kind of care. But now that you take a minute to think about it, in the pitch dark, in the silence, like, a little bit spooky. I think we will get heading now. There's no point in flogging a dead horse. We've got a lot to do tomorrow. I'm gonna to get the camera. Call it a night. Let's see what we've got. Oh well, is it still going? <laughs> 